Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where last episode the centaur took more hits in the ammo, and of course that ammo is irreplaceable. We are not going to replace it anytime soon. I think that's pretty clear. So eventually the centaur will hit the point of retirement. I don't think we're quite at that point yet, but it is getting close. We're going to tick forward a few days here. Magus is currently injured for five days. Okay for four additional days do we want to deploy now without the centaur probably we can deploy without the centaur with a six or seven unit deployment and get one more deployment before the financial report so that'll end up meaning something like a blackout or just deploy seven units though <laughs> that's the other option here right so that's absolutely fine we could go for like this 2.5 million this is a blackout versus Comstar. Okay. This one is a battle, and this might be an interesting option. It's a four skull, poorly maintained mechs that we can, in theory, finish quickly. And we can run this basically straight down the middle. I doubt there's a free priority salvage anywhere here. We could even run it about here and get ourselves about 1.2 million sea bills and 312 salvage. This feels not too bad across the board. However, we can't bring our centaur, right? So that's not going to happen. I want to definitely bring our marauder. Who piloted the marauder? Hang on. Who was this? <laughs> Clist, was that you? No. Clist pilots the bandersnatch. So that's okay. We can do that. Hardcase is in the grasshopper, if I recall correctly. We're going to need to get all of these put back in. Shadowhawk, marauder, firestarter. Yeah, we're going to put you in the grasshopper. Okay, next up is going to be our Black Knight, which I believe was Capo. Where are you at, Capo? There you are. There we go. Just double-checking that. Yes, Black Knight. Then we can go with this crossbow, which should be, I believe, Plato? No, Plato was in the Grasshopper. Hang on. There we go. We'll do that. Weasel cakes in the crossbow. That's right. And then we can go for our rifleman. So this is six units here. And the rifleman is, of course, going to end up being... Who drives the rifleman? Gorgon? Gorgon. Okay. So we could deploy our crossbow with no weapons. Of course, it won't let us deploy it with no weapons. And I think there's no engine either. Yeah. So this is going to need some work. No doubt about that. We could deploy our centaur with a backup pilot. Magus is jinxed, but also lucky. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Or we could just deploy our six units and call it good here. And hope that we don't run into anything too crappy. Now, I think hard case is in the Marauder. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so we have our six units good to go here. But we definitely could bring a Centaur. And then we could bring, like, Coach in that slot. He's not going to be great. Oh, right. Pilot needs neural implants to pilot the Centaur. We can't bring a substitute pilot. It has to be Magus. So that'll be it for now. And we'll see how this ends up going. We're going to be lacking our centaur, and we'll see how it feels without the centaur, but we're also only going to have six units here. So this could be spicy. We'll see. See you guys after the loading screen. Well, that loaded up pretty quickly, and hopefully that means that we're not going to have too big of a problem here. I'm hoping that we only have the one lance of old timers and no backup lance, but we'll see. So they're up over here. We do have a backup lance on our side. Enemy mechs are up over here. I'd like to deploy somewhere where we have clearer LOS. I don't like these guys being out over here, you know? But we could land somewhere like this. I don't love that necessarily. I really want to land somewhere around here. We can climb up, take this cover, and have good LOS up over here. So that's the idea. That's as close as we can get. And the question then becomes, are there any enemies other than these four? If not, we should be able to take this out pretty quick. So that's an Orion. That's an Atlas. And what's this guy? A second Atlas. So they've got two Atlases here. Noted. So we're going to move our crossbow up over here. We're going to have to pummel through those Atlas armors basically in the front arc. And that's going to be a whole thing. 
Yes, Commander. For now, our rifleman is going to need to sprint up as much as it can. It doesn't have LOS right now. We have a big Wait, numerical man. advantage, but those atlases are definitely very large. <laughs> and they've got a lot of central armor there. However, atlases... Like, I mean, this is kind of more of a mech warrior thing, right? But atlases have a really big CT, and while they have a lot of armor there, it's very easy to core them out Order. because of that. That's not really a thing in rogue tech so much, but it is a weakness of atlases. So they've got a bunch of atlases here. They've got a Black Knight and an Orion. The Black Knight and the Orion are less concerning than the atlases, for sure. Okay. So I want to check in, what do we have for weaponry? This atlas has less weaponry. Got it. Okay. Our Marauder is going to need to head up as over here as it can. And next round. So they're going to move first, phase 22 in the Orion. Now we do have allied units up over here and they may choose to engage them, but they've gone for the Grasshopper instead. Taking heavy hits, okay. Commander. So for now, that's reasonably Warning. fine. We'll see what our heavy allies damage. do here. I would like to see them maybe focus fire this Orion. Yeah, side arc on that Orion is a pretty decent call, I feel like. They've already softened up the armor in that leg quite a bit. So this Atlas moves now and fires on our Black Knight. To be honest, that wasn't a good shot by the Atlas. Armor's getting stripped off. That was mediocre at best. So our rifleman is going to position up over here. We've got this cover. We can fire on these atlases here. I think that this guy is the target. There's a lot of stray shot here and 77% hit odds. Light him up. Locking in all weapons. That didn't go well for 77% hit odds, honestly. But we did soften up the atlas's armor a little bit. You? Now, our Bandersnatch is going to head forward here. I want to continue to focus fire here, I feel like. And the Atlas is the obvious choice. So the question is, do we want to take this overheat? I think I'm not going to fire these two ER medium lasers. Just because they're lower hit odds. But beyond that, light him up and let's see what we get Time done here. Die. Decent clustering onto that side there. Okay, we're definitely softening the Atlas, but this is going to be a little bit to chip through that armor. This Black Knight advances on us and fires on our Bandersnatch. Okay, we are in cover, so we're taking reduced damage. Okay, that was bad. Eh, not ordered. as bad as you might think. So we're going to head up over here with our Black Knight, and light. we're just closing in on this Atlas. I want to light him up and laser off some armor. We got a head hit there, and we also stray shot this Atlas a little bit. But his armor is definitely chipping down. No doubt about that, his armor is getting a lot lower. This archer moves in and attacks the same Atlas using... Arrow fours. Remarkable. This Atlas is in serious danger now. So our crossbow is going to step forward to here. Move into position. Firing on that same Atlas in ER LRM 20 mode. We could destroy it here. I think it's unlikely, but we could. He is taking a lot of damage right now. Structure exposure. We took out an engine heat sink plus two crit, and he's knocked down. As I said, this Atlas is in serious danger. Now he cannot move, and we're going to step forward to... I don't love this position, but I'm going to take it. We're going to step forward here, and we're going to fire on this Atlas. This could easily kill Got and it did. Beautiful. So that's one Atlas down. Focus fire, taking that down relatively quickly there. Next one is going to be our Marauder. The Marauder doesn't have a good shot on this Atlas, but it is the best shot that we have. We may stray shot this guy. We'll find out. No, we did not. But we did manage to tag that Atlas, so that's good. Next up, our allies are going to move. They only have the two units. So this Dervish is going to move up and fire on this Black Knight's rear arc. Okay. That doesn't help us all that much. Our Bandersnatch is going to remain in cover. I think we continue to focus down the Atlas here. 
I'm not going to fire these two medium lasers because of heat. They're not intended to necessarily be constantly fired. And we'll just start to chip down this atlas. Roger that. Good clustering in that torso. I like it. So next up is going to be this Orion, and we'll see if he engages these guys up over here. If we can get this turned back around. We'll see if he engages our allies or if he engages us. He's engaging us. Okay. Now we didn't move our Bandersnatch, so it's not surprising that they're going to attack here with no evasive. That's fine. Our crossbow is going to move in front to block some of this LOS. And we can fire on... At this point, the Atlas is still the choice. The Atlas moves in phase 16. So we made him unsteady there. Not like an Atlas is going to have a lot of evasive. But next up is going to be this Black Knight. And the Black Knight did take a fair amount of rear arc damage there. If it advances here... Yeah, it went for the Grasshopper. And that is a structure exposure on the Grasshopper. Next up is the Atlas. So where is that structure exposure for the Grasshopper? Like I said, I didn't love that positioning. He's going to go for the Grasshopper here, right? Actually, he goes for the crossbow. And that's ideal. That's what we want. Beautiful. Okay. So where is the structure exposure in our Grasshopper? This arm? This is the arm with our AC-20. So we do want to protect yes, that Honda. arm. Our Marauder can step forward to about here. Affirmative. And who do we want to fire on here? The hit odds are best actually on the Black Knight. I'm going to ignore the Black Knight and fire on the Atlas here. Successful tag. And let's see what our allies do. This archer moves up, rear arc attacks this Black Knight. That's what I was hoping for right there. Okay, so the Black Knight is now unsteady. Our grasshopper needs to protect its right side, so it needs to turn something kind of like this. Confirmed. And we can fire on the Atlas. We can fire on the Black Knight. The Black Knight's rear arc is where it's going to be the problem, right? We want to hit in that rear arc, and ultimately, the Dervish is probably going to take that attack next round before the Black Knight gets to move. So I'm going to continue to hit the Atlas here. Ooh, we missed the auto cannon, but we did get a structure exposure on the Atlas and a head hit. So that's okay for now. The Rifleman can step forward and continue to pump fire into this Atlas. We're not going to fire our medium lasers here, but we are going to take this over here. Okay, more internal damage to that Atlas there. I like it. Our Black Knight can step forward to here to help protect our Grasshopper. And we're going to continue to light up this Atlas. SRM-6 crits there. Three of them. But not too much in terms of internal damage to that Atlas just yet. So phase 21 is going to be this Orion. And we'll see what it does. Steps over this direction. Okay. And fires on whom? Our crossbow. Honestly, that's not too bad. We're fine with this. I'm showing minor damage. Cool. That AC-10 was jammed. So next up is the Dervish. I want to see the Dervish kill this Black Knight. That's a good rear attack. Structure exposure, a bunch of internal damage there. Sadly, the Black Knight is still active. And the Archer will get to move after yes. the Black Knight does. Okay. Let's use the Rifleman to light up the Atlas, but we need to sink some heat here. Copy that. Oh, we missed both of those. That's rough. I was hoping to get a kill on the Atlas there, but no such luck. That's okay for now. Next up is going to be this Black Knight, and we'll see what it does. It is very weakened in the rear arc, and we're probably... Okay, it goes for the crossbow there. Upper arm destruction. Okay, so that's not too, too bad. Trouble. So what that ends up meaning, of course, is that our Bandersnatch is going to position here. On my way. And we're going to light up this Atlas. This Atlas is not going to survive. I'm just going to fire the LRMs. And there we go. One dead Atlas. That's what we're looking for. Next, we are going to use our Marauder to come in to this Black Knight. And we're going to get a rear arc attack on him. I'm not going to fire the UAC-5. We're just going to fire everything else. We missed our melee attack, which is very unfortunate, but let's see what else we get. Successful tag, but there we go. 
One engine destruction. So all that's left now is this Orion. And we're going to see the Arrow 4 going in there, lighting him up. He is already unsteady and weakened in this arc. So that looks great. Positioning the Grasshopper here to protect its exposed arm. And let's light up that Orion. Good auto cannon hit there, exposing the structure perhaps in the arm, perhaps in the torso. I'm not sure which. Leg, actually. That didn't look like a leg hit, but okay. The crossbow needs to protect its left side, so it needs to angle this way. Got it. And we're going to light this guy up. And he's just gone. Beautiful. We are out of here. That was not bad at all. Do we get an atlas out of it? I'd love to get an atlas. They're slow, but they're excellent juggernauts. When they're not used like that. <laughs> we were able to focus them down pretty well, but we would absolutely want to boost up their armor count. They're just like slow lumbering behemoths, right? You just move forward with them and just soak as much damage as you can. But I think atlases are kind of overrated, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of atlases, but whatever. Okay, so this is all fine, of course. We took a little bit of damage there. They want the Atlas and the Orion. And I'm going to refuse. Because I want the Atlas. Unfortunately, we need 30 salvage to get the Atlas. And we're going to have to disassemble it. And just grab some parts here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to grab three Atlas parts and hope that we get these other three in our 12 roulettes, or at least two of them. So what do we got? We got four Atlas parts. Well, the next time we run into an Atlas, we will definitely be able to create one. It's not the best thing in the world, for sure, but it does do the trick. It's fine. We'll have four Atlas parts here, and next AS7A, or Atlas of any variety, we'll be able to get. I was hoping to get all five, but... Four will do. So we did take a little bit of internal damage on a couple of mechs. Nothing significant, but we are going to have to do some repairs beyond what Yang wants to do. Because Yang will just, like, replace the armor, right? And repair the internals. He will not repair the damaged components. So that's fine. We have a financial report coming in very soon. And the Epimetheus will be available shortly as well. So that is going to be a useful thing for us too. Our first assault. The question is, do we want to use the crossbow for anything at this point? Yeah, go ahead and get that done, Yang. And we're going to need to bring up the Epimetheus, I think. Yeah, just something kind of like this. And we'll tick forward, taking the financial report. Our income from that last one will not cover our expenses here, but we're working our way positive in our overall finances, so that's fine. We're on extravagant at this point. Do we have an Argo upgrade going? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's continue to tick and get these repairs done. So those are all finished now. Hmm, Corridor Bocce, huh? Uh, Darius is in charge here. Okay, so they're in low spirits. There we go. Like, this is literally Darius's job. It's, it's not our job to intervene in those sorts of things. So we're going to get our drive upgrade done at the same time as our Bandersnatch. That's okay. We can hop into our mech bay here and work on this crossbow, which needs some internal work. And I think nothing else does. So that'll take zero C bills and zero days. No problem there. Job's done. And everything else should be good to go. So there's no problem there, I think. Now, the Rifleman, I would absolutely love to get some additional heat sinks on. I don't think we have any additional heat sinks, of course. Oh, we do have a couple of double heat sinks. So if we were to do that, we could simply put a double heat sink in and drop one of our medium lasers. That wouldn't be bad. That would bump up our delta heat by a decent amount there. Up to 18 heat. That seems reasonable. 
Yeah, we lose a little bit of our damage, but to be honest, we can't use those medium lasers most of the time anyway. So let's validate that. Let's get that underway. I would also like to take a look at specifically our Bandersnatch. So how many regular heat sinks do we have on here right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 standard heat sinks. How many double heat sinks do we have available? Two. So we're not really in a position to change that out at this point. We could potentially toss in an engine heat sink plus one as well. If there's space for one. Uh, this is an engine core 180, so there probably isn't. So I don't think there's too much we can do with our Bandersnatch right now. Of course, our Epimetheus is now online, and we'll get that thing pressed into service very shortly here. So I do want to get that Rifleman finished up. We'll take forward there. Beautiful. And we'll hop into our engineering and get an engineering upgrade going. This is going to end up being our final expensive upgrade, the drive system. Right, and of course, our right funds away. are a bit low right now. That's understood. And we'll be able to recover that. We've got lots of time on our financial report. So now we'll hop into our barracks and get some promotions going here. Yeah. Ready for order, Skipper. Okay. A point of piloting for coach will be fine. Confirmed, Commander. Standing for by. Gorgon, we'll grab a point of piloting Train as well. Order, Anybody order, else here? I hear ya. You've got my attention. Ready for nope. Yes, that's all commander. looking fine for now. We're not choosing order. Romeo just yet, but Weasel Cakes can absolutely take a point of tactics. Complete. There we go. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. It's a little too late to start anything else at this point. So that'll be absolutely fine. And next episode, we're going to go make some money. We definitely need to do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.